Hey everyone, welcome back. It's your girl Toya T, and today I'm doing the follow up to my video on five ways to make money from spring cleaning. So, this is the second part, which is five ways to spring clean and help the environment. All right, so number one, um, and before I start, maybe I should say again, I really, really, I'm not an eco, like super, like, Enviro environmentalist, but I definitely want to be very aware about um, the, what impact I have on the world around me. I absolutely hate trash. I hate seeing it on the ground. I hate going on vacation and seeing trash uh, on the streets or in a, an abandoned parking lot. It really just irks me. So I try the best that I can not to throw out too much stuff. So I recycle everything that I can. Luckily, I live in a town that uh, supports recycling and um, anything else that I can get rid of either by donating or repurposing or selling, I do it so that it doesn't end up in the city dump immediately, that someone else gets to use it and um, I don't put extra junk into the world. So, all right, going back to my countdown. So number one, uh, my favorite, some of my favorite places to donate things uh, and that I've used recently as I'm cleaning out my mother's house in this huge spring cleaning project, 2014. Um, the first one is recycling old shoes. So you have some shoes, maybe they're a little bit worn out. You got some sneakers, I got some dirt on it. Um, maybe you, you don't wear them anymore because I got a couple scuffs on it and you don't know what to do. Don't check them out. You can actually donate them to this great organization called Souls for Souls. Souls for Souls. I love the I just love the way it sounds. Um, and I first found out about this organization when I did my mud run last year, and they actually um, they actually uh, recommended that everyone uh, donate their muddy sneakers to Souls for Souls. Uh, they would clean them um, and then ship them off to uh, a. a I don't want to say third world, but um, a lower income country where they really could use uh, shoes. Maybe we're not getting use out of them, but they definitely could get use out of these um, out of these shoes. Because shoes, you know, when you have the rubber on there, they can go for days. I mean, you, I, I know I, people have been out there. I know I've been one of them where you have your favorite pair of shoes and you kind of wear them out until you've had them for years and you pretty much wear them out until they're just like there's a hole in it so um we're not talking about holy shoes i'm talking about just shoes that maybe they're out of style now and you want to give them away and it's kind of you know you just want to do something like that without throwing it in the garbage you could always donate it to souls for souls i did number two salvation army um and i know everyone has a salvation army somewhere it usually comes up um, when people are doing spring cleaning, people really usually think about giving away their, their old clothes to Salvation Army, maybe some old electronics. It's a great place. Uh, they help out a lot of people, especially those who are in need, and they take a lot of stuff that they are able to sell um, for cheap or to help other people. So um, I really like Salvation Army. I actually am using them to get rid of uh, a working uh, dryer that my mother has from when she lived in her apartment and then she moved over here and bought and the old owners left their washer and dryer so she didn't need this dryer so it was just been in the shed for six years just collecting dust and taking up space and it annoys me so finally I found a place that would come and pick it up they will come and pick this thing up I don't have to move it all I gotta do is clear out the boxes in front of it and just point them in the direction take the dryer sell it do whatever you want but it can't be in this house anymore but I love the fact that they will take this dryer that definitely still works and maybe give it to a family that needs a washer and dryer so they're not going over to the laundromat because that laundromat grind is mmm I did it in New York when I lived there, and when I moved to Atlanta and I had my own washer and dryer, it was like the heavens opened, and I was just running through the fields because I just could not stand that laundry mat, you know, shuffle and dance. Oh, no, no, no. Number three, um, consider donating to Big Brother Big Sister. I think it's a great organization. They also take a lot of stuff, especially things that are related to children. So if you have school supplies, like in the case of my mother's house, again, like if, if you don't know it, if you ever see her on here, um, she is definitely someone who likes to buy things in bulk. So 
if you if she needed if she sees it on sale and there's notebooks she's buying tons of notebooks and she did that for me and my brother and my brother uh graduated from high school two years ago and now we have tons of notebooks in the house and pens and pencils and stuff so i am donating it the extra ones that i found in the house to big brother big sister because they definitely need it they also take toys which is awesome so I had tons of that. They also take old sporting goods. We had a pair of skis in the house that I've been trying to sell, but I don't think it's going to happen. I don't know a thing about skiing. So I'm just going to donate it to them. They actually said it on there that they take skis. So they're going to get some skis. They're going to get some old TVs because we had a lot of old TVs in the house until we got the flat screens. So that's a great organization to be a part of and to donate to. So if you want to donate money or donate goods to them, that's a great place to, to think of um, when you're doing your spring cleaning four. I'm sure it's number four yes number four all right how about donating to uh, Vietnam veterans of America now I was looking for a place where I could donate a bunch of stuff I was like okay I need to donate something and I've pretty much donated to almost all of the ones that sent out flyers um, and I was trying to look for something new that took a variety of things so I signed up for a pickup from uh, Vietnam Veterans of America and they take lots of stuff they take kitchen goods they take all they take toys they they pretty much say on their thing that they take almost everything unless it's like dirty and broken like they want it so they can sell it and help out these um, these veterans uh, that served our country and uh, need a little bit of help. So um, I gave them a whole bunch of stuff. I gave them old, you know, bathroom furniture, not super old, but you know, one of those above the toilet racks that we had and a little towel, towel, a separate towel rack that we had that we weren't using. Um, I, they got a TV, they got a printer, they got uh, toys, they got um, school supplies, they got electronics. We had tons of stuff, shoes, clothes. I gave them a whole bunch of stuff. So I usually, when I give to one place, I try to move it around. I try to spread the love spread my spread my my stuff or the stuff that I collect from other people um, because I'm trying to help out a lot of people at the same time and um, different places take different things so if you're looking for some place that takes a lot of a variety of things um, they look into uh, Vietnam veterans of America all right or two so um, the last one that I'm going to talk about is oh my gosh I'm forgetting hmm how, how did I let this slip my mind? Oh, of course, Cradles to Crayons. I love this organization. It's just like it sounds. It's an organization that focuses on children, particularly those of, uh, children of need, obviously, and they're looking for supplies that will carry children from the cradle to uh, when they're drawing in crayons and they're a little bit older. So they take everything related to children. They take um, clean toys, so clean, unbroken toys. They take all school supplies they take books school books i gave a lot of like you know children's books to them as long as they don't have like i love my mommy i love my daddy kind of stuff they don't want to do anything that's um too sentimental or might if, if a child is in a broken home or a foster care they don't want to uh, make them feel alienated so they don't take those kind of books they don't take uh religious books like christmas or hanukkah or kwanzaa books um but they take children's books they take school supplies they take clothing for children um for all ages you know the, all the ages that you when you go into the children's section of any clothing store they take all those clothes children's shoes a lots of things and it's a great organization i gave tons of them and they were like wow where what do you, like what do you have like a little school going on there and i'm like oh my gosh not really but um uh, it's a great place to uh donate to and i'm not sure if they have them in every single city but i know they definitely have it in the boston area so i definitely want to shout them out i think they're a great organization um so yeah think about donating to, to, to cradles to crayons and a bonus one so because cradles to crayons uh may not be in every city i'll give you another one that's definitely in every city so i'm trying to keep this uh a national thing um that that covers all of our 50 states uh and canada and mexico and everywhere else so um definitely in north america these are covered so the last one that i'm i'm gonna do is like a bonus not five but i guess six uh is donating to staples so if you have and again this is going back to how embarrassing it is um in my family that uh we have i don't and maybe it's everyone else too so we have tons we had tons i looked into that under the house in our crawl space and found about six printers six 
printers. My mother had kept six printers. Some of them, you know, when you buy a new computer, they usually used to give you a free printer with them. Sometimes she didn't even open them. So there was like one actually that I'm trying to give away. I'm going to give away to big brother, big sister. That is completely brand new in the box, never been open. Um, the rest of them that I donated to Staples to recycle um, were, were old um, and they probably were semi-working, but it's a good place to do it. They take all office stuff, so you can give them the printers, you can give them the computer monitors, they can give you can give them the PCUs, um, you can give them all of the accessories that go with computers, the mouse, the keyboard, the headsets, they take game sets, they take computer game stuff. Um, so they take a lot, they take shredders. So we had a shredder, old shredder too, that I also gave to them. So I came, I went to Staples twice uh, last week and it, they must have thought that I was running like a small office out of my house or something because I brought so much stuff. It was like piled up in my little um, basket. And I think I took a picture. So I'll show you guys the picture at the end of this. So you can see how much stuff that I brought on one thing. Uh, another thing is good about staples too before you before you give those printers look inside and take out the ink because they take the ink if you sign up for staples rewards for every ink that you give them and you can give up to 10 a month you get two dollars in reward so two dollars each ink and it builds up and eventually you're gonna have you're gonna be able to buy free stuff at uh, staples and I know that I'm probably pretty close because I, I gave them 10 this month already I gave them I think three last month and I'm, I have a whole bunch more left to give them I just collect them up and um so it's it's a good way to kind of make uh to get some rewards back for donating and we're trying to recycle and be green oh and they also take cordless phones so you can look it up just look up where things to, where you can recycle things um and i hope you find this helpful i really do um it's something it's a passion of mine to be able to clean out things and still be eco-friendly um and i'm still now if you have any suggestions about uh where i can donate old glasses eyeglasses and batteries let me know because those are the two things that i'm trying to figure out what to do with and i'm holding them until i find a place for them so i hope you enjoyed this this is uh toya's i guess this is toya's tips yeah we're still in toya's tips if you have any suggestions or comments please let me know leave it below like dislike share with your friends share with your mom especially if share with the hoarder next door that lives in that creaky house that has all the junk in it uh share it with them share it with hoarders because i would love to be an organizer on that show um as long as they give me like the industrial gas mask because i have a bad I would throw up so quickly at the, at the smell of just dead flat cats. But anyway, um, so share with your friends, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I promise you, you will not regret some of my tips and uh, some of my other sections like uh, handy chick. And um, I guess I will see you guys later because I'm trying to do three videos a week. So I will see you guys later. Bye.